For all you mad bastards loving the Big Show podcast, get up even closer on Instagram, YouTube and TikTok or Raw Dog It. Four to seven every weekday on Radio Horaki. Yeah, get out, you mad bastards. Tell you what, fellas. Uh, another lovely day in Auckland City. Beautiful, isn't it, mate? Really, really lovely. Yeah. I hung out with some friends over the weekend and uh, they were going, oh, it's spring, woohoo! And I said, ah, but no. Oh, no, yeah. no, you no. You pissed on them, did you? I did. You, mate. And I said, no, springs actually officially starts on the 22nd or 23rd. What a fucking lame thing to say. Really? And, and they were like, bullshit. Yeah. And I said, no. And, and I think I mentioned you, Meg. And I said, no, Mogi told me. Yeah. Officially, it starts on the twenty third, and they went bullshit. How does that work? It's not tied to the calendar, you right? Know. The spring, yes. the spring doesn't know about calendars, well, Jay. Exactly, you see mate. What I'm saying? They were so outraged. We we're in the middle of a beautiful beach, and they went, "I'm googling that." Oh yes, and I was right. <laughs> Lo and behold, Lo and that's behold. the main thing, isn't it? And they, for about half an hour, just couldn't get their heads but around. But it's quite it. a good like, thing, is it? It's a nice yeah. thing to know. I think yeah, it's a good yeah. thing to know. Yeah, because um, obviously, calendars are a man-made thing. And the galaxy just gives us our our seasons. The galaxy, yeah. And so to try and wow. sync those the up galaxy. perfectly, this is, a, this is amazing. Of course, they're going to get out of sync at oh, some stage. That's so, right. Mike, do you think at one point maybe they were perfectly aligned, and since then they've become out of alignment? Well, September one. Yeah. Probably, man. Yeah, so yeah. so. Although that's what leap years are for, eh, fellas? They keep things aligned. Well, that's but, so true, man. Though having said that, you know, it feels like spring, so that's main thing. Oh, it's beautiful. Well, that was a the funny thing. Twenty one. Oh, it was hot. Good. Yeah, How it was hot. hot. Yeah, and yeah. it was hot at night. It was hot at night. What? Oh, Keezy giving me a filthy look there. What was yeah. that? What are you What are you suggesting, Keezy? You <coughs> do some loving or something? It was hot and steamy. Right, okay. No, it just hot was. steamers. I woke up hot at like 4 a.m. Like, man, it's hot. I haven't woken up hot in ages. Mm. Well, that's going to be – we've taken the duvet, the extra duvet off our bed. Whose that's idea gonna, was that? That's going to have to cut, go back on. Whose idea was it? Well, I got home and it was gone. That's right. Same thing in my house. <laughs> The I, decision was made on my behalf. Does she get? Does she stay hotter at night than you are? Mm, I'm trying to remember, yes. Because Luce will take the extra duvet off our bed about three weeks before I'm actually ready for that. Yeah, that's and right. And then I'm freezing in the middle of the night. It's like yeah. ripping off a plaster keezy. You know what I mean? She just takes it all. She just does it. It's gone. And, and then you deal with Suits it. Suits her. We're Beautiful. Still, we're still fully duvet and blanketed up. So blanketed up. Blanketed up. Uh, oh, we may have taken the blanket off, actually. Who? Oh. My wife and I. But you both decided at the same time to we take do, it off? Yeah, we do a, a, do it as a team. So do you take it off as a team as well? Yes. It's a ceremony. Right. For the beginning of nearly spring. Do you have your donger hanging out? <laughs> yeah, Jace, do you? <laughs> My donger? <laughs> um, do you? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, okay, yeah, maybe sometimes. yeah, there's sometimes. nothing wrong with it. Yeah, yeah. Wow. My little medium pace outswinger. Mm. Yeah. Um, sometimes I have my donger out. That's great. Yeah. It, it varies from year to year. It always looks like a bit of a smug bastard, your donger. He have does. You that? Yeah. He's got a habit of um, gloating. Yes. Look, it's like people that know they're really good looking. You know, there's a certain arrogance about them. Totally there is, man. Yeah. No, I've noticed um, that there is. Yeah. Yeah. My donger's like that. It, yes. It knows it's impressive. He, and, uh, he it, struts. It just, He's got a strut. He's got a swagger in his step. Just a quiet little smile to itself. It is. It's a knowing glance. Yeah. The it's eye, a wink, it winks at itself in the mirror. You know, normally the eye of the donger is sort of perpendicular. Mine's sort of horizontal and a little yes. smile. Yes. Really? Up, like a little... <laughs> an upturned mouth. Yeah, an upturned mouth going, yes. I know what I'm about. <laughs> yeah. I don't need to go on about it. <laughs> but, you know, you know what I'm saying, man. <laughs> So good. Yeah. yeah. Um, if your donger was a pair of jeans, he'd be Levi's, I reckon. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Working class. Working gets the job class, done. Yeah, not with the fake cuts in them. Yours would be three quarters, though. Um, and. <laughs> like in between shorts and jeans. Covered covered in oil and hard hard sort of graft sort of activities. No yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Like under my Chevy. No, yours would be. <laughs> Under my Chevy, fixing frayed, her up. Frayed look, at him, look at him fixing up. You see that? <laughs> he was miming something very different, which YouTube viewers will be able to see. Yeah, yeah. Um, if yours was a pair of jeans, it'd be your wife's jeans that you don't realise you're wearing until you get to work. Oh, true. And fit me really well. Yeah, snug. Um, Have you worn them again since? I, they're my favourite jeans now. You wear them all the time? Yes, the black ones. Are they zip up on the side? No, no, they're, they're my... 
Other my, favourites. Them, no, I don't really. In actual fact, just. I feel I'm, like it zips up the side there. It's a bit of a statement. I, well, I. Is I, it on the inside of him or the outside? I, outside. The zip. Oh, is that inside? Should be inside, surely. <laughs> yeah, good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but these jeans, I don't even know where they came from. But then my wife said to me the other day, um, have you lost weight? Oh. And I was like, no, I don't think so. Why? And she said, oh, your jeans are really baggy. And oh. I was wearing these ones. And so I, maybe they've just lost some elasticity. But you, I'm trying to remember what you do with your, how often do you wash your jeans? Uh, well, I've taken your guys' advice. Because I'd go two days max. Yeah, yeah. it's just silly. Of course now, they're not Now I four, five days? Yeah. That's what I do now. They tighten up after a wash. Yes, definitely. They do. Mine yeah. is still, I still do mine like once every month. No. Nah. Bullshit. 100%. percent can not do that. No. But, I I've mean, got four pairs of jeans. The amount of food you drop when you're eating, there's no way. Jace, now you're being you, silly. There's no <laughs> way that you have the same jeans on for a month. I have the same jeans on for a month. I don't wear them every day. I have four pairs of jeans which get rotated. I probably wear each one, one once or twice a week, and mm. I wash them once a month maybe, maybe even once every two months because they just don't need to be washed. They look fine. I'm going to ask your wife about that. She doesn't know. I'm going to ask she her anyway. She doesn't know. Don't ask. You don't have to talk to her. She doesn't know anything. I'm going to call her. No, it's anyway. fine. You don't need to. I'm going to call her tonight and say, Keezy only washes his jeans every two months. You know is what that true? I would love is to overhear you actually calling my wife and how awkward the conversation would be. I don't be think really, it would be. I think it would be, be charming. We get on great. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You know. know if you do. Hey, Jase, can you talk me through your weekend, man? Happy Father's Day, by the way. Thanks, to mate. To all the fathers out yet there. Not you, Keezy, not yet. Nah. You've got some on the way, man? Yeah. Good. How are your sperms looking? Yeah, I good question. Yeah, are they are they little potent bastards. They were little geezers. I, th- I thought are you they... were talking us through your weekend, uh, not me talking. Well, yeah, we just got onto your jizz, yeah, right? Yeah. Didn't we? Is it vigorous stuff in there, Keezy? I don't know. Is it a good? It's, it's pretty lively. Is there a good brew? You know? Yeah. Brew in there and the old testes. Yeah, I think so. It's like it is pretty lively. Like when yeah. you, if you got a handful of the stuff, like it's she's you know all over. Burns the, place. the skin, doesn't yeah, it? Burns yeah, the skin. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's like vibrating almost. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's like um, it, yeah, shaking. It's like that um, that candy rock pop. You know, that yeah, candy, yeah, yeah. Yes. you stick it in your bing, mouth bing, and bing. it fizzes. It's yes. like sherbet. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like sherbet, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I think I'll be sweet as. The Horaki Big Show, weekdays from four on Radio Horaki. The Horaki Big Show podcast. My weekend was lovely. How's your jizz? Until <laughs> Sunday morning. Until Sunday morning, the rugby. That ruined it for you. Well, my wife and I had made the decision that we were going to watch it live. Oh, good. Um, which we did. Was uh-huh. it exciting? Yeah, it was a good match. Uh, unfortunately. Who won? Keezy. <laughs> we'll do that in sports. <laughs> so then. annoyed. You have to wait. <laughs> you have to wait. Um, unfortunately, Mogi, my phone went at 2 a.m. that morning. Went? Rang. My phone started oh. ringing at 2 a.m. And I was preparing to get up at quarter to three. So my phone rang. And I was like, is that my phone? And then I sort of grabbed it and the call cut out and I went, it's never a good sign when you get called at 2 a.m. in the morning. It's very rare for it to be good news. Um, And then I got a text, which was from my neighbour. Oh, shit. Who said, oh, now you guys, did you see that? You might have been fast asleep. Um, That magnificent. Incredible thunderstorm. Yeah. Saturday yep. night, I woke up to uh, it. Sunday yeah. morning. Mm, it was amazing. And basically, it was my neighbor, and he le- his message was Your dog's going ballistic in the backyard and is really distressed. Yeah. And I went, Okay. Um, Nothing I can do about it. Sorry, mate. Th- yes, there was that. Um, Why was the dog and, not with you? And Oh, because we left her at home with our daughter. Mm. Um, and so then he texted back and said, do you want me to go and get her and I'll put her in my house? And oh, I said, that's nice. that won't work. You won't be able to get her and she'll keep barking for however long and be freaked out. So then I rang my daughter about 10 times, mm. left about five texts and didn't get <coughs> any response. And that carried on for many, many hours. So I watched the rugby, still didn't get any response. And so after the rugby finished, I drove home. Did you? Yes. 
two she, hours. Was she, the storm still going? No, but. But the, she would have had her phone on silent. No, but she, when my when my dog barks, you know about it. Right. And so her going nuts in the backyard would have been fucking terrible. Jace's dog is the loudest bark in the world. It, mm. it is. It's like way louder than anything. Then this story actually gets better. And then anyway, I, I get home, go into the bedroom, and she's there with her boyfriend, and looks like they'd had a good evening. Great. So I'm, I'm sitting on the deck. Um, at about, and you did not, I haven't told you this part, Keezy, at about oh, 10.30, having a durry there. and uh, Sorry, where are we now? On my deck. Oh, you're at home. At home. Yep. Um, there's a little path with a gate on it, and this, I hear someone coming down the path, and this dude comes up to my gate and goes, Oi! Oi! And I went, okay, this isn't going to be good, whatever this is. And he said, and he was, he was livid livid and he was like if you can't control your fucking dog you shouldn't fucking own one mm. um and then he said it woke the whole fucking neighborhood up you and i won't say what he said yeah and i went totally man my bad yeah my bad breakdown of communication there was no one here to look after her totally my bad i completely accept it and he settled down a bit and muttered and groaned and then stomped off mm. So that was so. That. What your daughter was there, or not? Yeah, she was there, and just didn't care about the dog, or well, just passed no, out. Just had a good night. Yeah, sure. Had um, a busy day. Had like maybe some friends over. Sure, because she was a hoo of a mess when I got <laughs> home. <laughs> uh, but you didn't go back to the batch. Well, no, because like two hours when it was a beautiful day. Oh, it was a magnificent day. And is it a two, it's not a two-hour drive out there. Yes, it is. is. It? Oh, yeah. Jesus, um, from so, his place. Um, Which is funny because you could probably go straight across the water, water in fifteen minutes. You can exactly yeah. that, uh, but the taxi costs about one hundred and fifty bucks. But it's not even existing anymore. But um, That's more my expensive. wife was coming back in the afternoon, so it was just like, what's the point? <sighs> Mind you, I was potentially planning on staying after she left, and she was going to get a lift home with her friends For an extra night. Yeah, so it was a bit of a bummer. Once again, Woody J. And it was once re- again beautiful day as well. It well, was. Yeah, you know, it was if I followed you on social media, there, I think you had a glorious time. But that was just one photo, a glimpse um, on an otherwise shambolic day. It, it was also <laughs> very reminiscent, Keezy, of when we went and on the set day. It was a cracking day, mm. and we and we just went, "Now nah, fuck this, we're going." Yeah. Well, did we? Well, I did. I was too Pugs livid, was devastated. Saturday was um, but, shit. Yes, it was, but we still had but a really Sunday nice day. Sunday was a ripper. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yesterday was great. And today's a ripper. Today but, you know, ripper. It's, it's, the stuff happens. Yeah. You know, and you just take it on the chin and move on. Do you reckon you'll get another dog? No. Yeah. Not a fucking chance. Yeah. No. Yeah. We have to find someone to look after her while we go away on holiday, too. What That's do you think the upside is of your dog? N- none at the moment. Yeah. yeah. Is that the vibe, though, honestly? Oh, look, we love her. Oh, you do? Um, yeah, I know. But, yeah. It's, uh... What's the upside of Tinker? Well, there's no downside. Yeah. She doesn't bark. <laughs> she doesn't do any of that shit. Yeah. She's a yeah. She's always been a great dog. Never bitten anybody. When you look at her. natured. You look at all her. All of that. And it makes you laugh when you look at her. Yeah, Casey. Because she's so funny looking. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I've never seen Rue. Yes, you have. I showed you photos. No, you haven't. I'll show you one now. I'd like to see her in person. You'd like to see her in the bath. She, well, I'd like to see she's Rue actually nerd. very lovely when you meet her in person. She'll Collie, bark, right? She'll bark for about An 10 hour. seconds and then she'll just be all over you. Yeah. She's a collie? Yes. Yeah, I'd be friends with her. I had a collie. Hey, listen to the Hadaki Big works. Show, four to seven every weekday. Yeah, nah, they know they talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He died about ten years ago. <laughs> 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 Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Oops.